Waiting for nothing to start. It's getting late. Why don't we call it a day? I could easily. Morning, guys. It is uh, like 3:20. No, it's it's 3:25. No, that's the temperature of the oven. It's uh, it's like seven o'clock in the morning, and it's 22 degrees outside. And I'm getting ready to go out and work on the tiny house. I took today off of work, and I'm gonna like uh, try to get a lot done. In the last video, you saw that we had leveled the trailer and then we put the Tyvek on there and we've started doing the um, corrugated steel on the bottom of it. We're still not finished with the corrugated steel but uh, the good thing about the corrugated steel is we can wait on rainy days to do that and uh, because I can just throw a tarp over it and then work under the trailer you've got to do all that from under the trailer anyway. Since we have the Tyvek on there I'm not so concerned about like bugs or anything getting in there. The Tyvek has pretty much sealed it up and gave us good support for the insulation. So today we're going to move ahead because it's a, it's not supposed to rain or anything today over the next couple of days. And uh, we're going to try to go ahead and, and get all the way up through the subfloor and uh, so that we can get started on the walls pretty soon. And then like I said, rainy days, we'll just get back under there and do another piece of corrugated steel and just kind of do that as we go so that I can kind of take advantage of the rainy days. Uh, instead of just having to stay inside on the rainy days and not being able to work on it. Um, so that's what we're doing today, guys. Uh, come along, it's gonna be a, a chilly, chilly day. You better get dressed up, it's gonna be cold. A nice cold morning. Um, wanted to catch you up real quick on kind of what we did last night. Uh, one of the things we did was we put painter's tape all along the beams here. The main purpose for those is to mark where the cross members are so that once we start putting on our subfloor, like I can snap chalk lines uh, off the edges of the tape. You'll notice the tape is roughly the same width as the, uh, the cross members. If I snap a chalk line across on the edges of the tape across my subfloor, I know exactly where my uh, cross members are and, uh, and I can put the screws in there and not have to worry about missing any of the cross members. That's one of the things we did. Um, the other thing that we did was we cut all of these two by threes and what the two by threes are going to do is they're going to go in here and wedge in here like so and they're going to go all the way against this i'm going to have to cut my zip ties off but they're going to i'm going to glue them in place all along here so that the edges of my subfloor have something to rest on on the very edge and i can and i can screw my subfloor down onto those and it'll just give it a little more support like i don't think the subfloor would ever really sag too much in there but it's better to do a little extra now because trying to put those in later is going to be just ridiculous. That's what I'm doing today. I'm going to go ahead and put in these, get them glued in place, and then um, I'm going to start putting in the insulation. So the first thing you got to do is get these zip ties off here because my pre-planning on that part wasn't really the best on where I put the zip ties. And uh, it just is what it is. guys here's what we came up with uh, these are all the all of them in place and they've all been glued it was all me uh, thank you and then these I had to space out a little bit because the wiring behind them but I, that's why I put this mark here so that I know not to drive a screw down through it and had to do a little tricky cutting for wiring in certain spots but um all in all i think it turned out pretty good um 
it's all glued in there. I don't think they're going anywhere. A lot of them are wedged in there really hard. So like, I don't think they're going anywhere. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that step. Uh, next step is insulation. We're getting ready to throw the insulation in there. And then we'll put our vapor barrier on top of that and just keep on rolling. One other thing that I like to mention is uh, that all of the all of the cross members on this puppy are not exactly 16 inch centers. So what I wound up doing basically is taking, you know, I had already kind of cut them like that because I was hoping like one size would fit all, but it didn't. Uh, what I did was I went around and just used the ones that I had and, and seen which which of the cross members they would fit into and i kind of put them there and then uh, i would take you know they were long thank goodness they weren't too short but then i would take about four of them and i would cut a saw blade off a uh, saw blade worth of length off of them and then i would go around and see which ones they fit in and if i used all four of them then i knew i needed to cut more of that same length but if uh if I didn't use all four, then I would cut another saw blade off. And I did that until I got all of them within a reasonable tightness, you know what I mean? And so, uh, and that allowed me to work them all in there. And so now at least I know they all fit pretty good. And uh, I don't have any really over snug ones. So there's that guys, here goes insulation. to go with R15 Ruxel for our insulation in the flooring. It's made for four inch suds, meaning that it's three and a half inches thick. So it's gonna be smashed down a half an inch because our cross members are only three inches. We chose Ruxel because we saw Tiny Nest using it and we thought it was a great idea. So what we didn't think about was that this stuff is made for 16 inch centers, but it's counting on two by fours to be in there. So it's not quite wide enough to fill up the gap in the C channel. So I'm gonna cut these little strips. We're gonna shove those in the C channel first and then insulate the whole thing. Uh, we probably wouldn't have to do that, but I don't know if the, if the insulation shifted, like I wouldn't wanna have that open gap in there. So this is our solution. Uh, I think it's gonna work pretty good. We just finished the insulation for the floor. That looks freaking awesome. I think it turned out good. I think I breathed some of it in. Next step. Reflectix is the next step. We're gonna put the stuff called Reflectix. It's kind of like bubble wrap that that reflects, supposedly reflects the infrared heat back into the house. We're gonna use it for the entire vapor barrier in this thing. And uh yeah, that's the plan. Uh, that's the next step. We're going to be gluing that on. And after that, it's subfloor it up. Stay tuned next video. We easily go for a drink, watching you shrink. This isn't easy to say, but I like to get over. I'd like to get over you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Never